Hello and thank you for joining our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to unbox and assemble the GeoCruiser LX. Now before we get started, I just wanna make a quick special announcement. Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and I'm here with Andrew and Dustin. And today we're making a really special announcement and that is to let you know that because of our success, we've been growing. Thanks to all of you subscribers out there, we're gonna start giving away a mobility scooter once a month. And this time we're gonna give away this model right here. It's the Pride Mobility GoGo ES2. It has a 250 pound weight capacity. It's a great scooter to travel around with. It's very lightweight. Also wanna mention that our new catalog's out. So if you haven't already claimed one, go to our website, mobilitydirect.com. Just click on that green button at the top of every page. Just fill out the simple short form and you'll get one in about one to two weeks. Yeah, that's about it. And I want to give a special shout out to our customers. Without our customers, we could not make this happen. Before we used to do it every 90 days. Now we're up to giving a mobility scooter away every single month. That, that's great. And it's all thanks to you. So thank you for subscribing, for liking our content, for sharing our content. Remember, go to YouTube, just type in Mobility Direct and subscribe, you're automatically gonna get entered into the giveaway. So good luck to you. You could be the next lucky winner. We're gonna show you the last winner on the screen. Thank you for watching. And by the way, Dustin has Mobility Scooter Sales, which is another YouTube channel where he does his own separate giveaways. So make sure you check his channel out too and subscribe to that one too for double the chances to win. Remember, you can't win if you don't play. Have Thanks a great, for watching. Have a great day, everybody. All right, we're here. We're pulling up to the uh, Lucky Winners apartment building and we're gonna bring the scooter up to her door and we're gonna get the reaction on video. I'm pretty excited, this is awesome. I mean, we're giving away a mobility scooter to someone that truly needs it. So stay tuned, we're gonna go up the elevator, it's on the third floor and we're gonna present this custom scooter to the winner. You like the scooter? Not after me. We're giving this. I was gonna say you look like you can run a marathon. You don't need a scooter. No. We're actually giving this one uh, to one of the residents here on the third floor. It might be your neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. They entered into a giveaway raffle and they won. That's why we're getting it on camera. Exactly. Oh my gosh! I'm so happy for you. Hello. So I'm just we're here with tissue. Gloria and she's got her scooter that we're donating and all she did was subscribe to our YouTube channel about a year ago. <laughs> I said it's a godsend that I got this. It's a miracle, really. I needed it desperately. Well, it's, it's something we're really happy to be able to do, Gloria. Thank and, you. And we really appreciate those kind words. And it's pretty easy. All you have to do is subscribe. This is what we're doing here every six months. So if you know somebody else that could use one, please tell them about it. All right, welcome back. And good luck to you if you subscribed. Hopefully, you're the next lucky winner. Now, we're going to go ahead and get started. All you need is either a box cutter, a knife, or a pair of scissors to cut the tape along the edges of the box. It really is easy to take this wheelchair out of the box. You don't really need more than one person, but two people might be necessary if you don't have the strength to maneuver the chair out of the box. The chair comes pretty much fully assembled. As you can see, uh, Andrew here just pulled it right out of the box. It helps to tip the box over sideways so you don't have to deadlift the entire chair. The chair itself weighs about 59 pounds and it can hold up to 350 pounds. Again, this is model GeoCruiser LX. They do have the EX and the DX, but the LX has the highest weight capacity, which is 350 pounds. You can get the DX, which can only hold 270 pounds and it weighs only 50 pounds. So this is the larger of the three. And as you can see, Drew's showing you here that there is a toolkit that comes with the power wheelchair in the bag. So be careful not to throw that away. Make sure you also read the manual in its entirety and keep your packaging for at least five days. So what we're showing you here is that you can unfold the chair pretty easily once you get it out of the box. There's some latches on the back of the chair that we'll show you later on in this video. Uh, and at this point, he's just rotating the armrests all the way forward. They do kind of flip up and around uh, more than a traditional armrest that just flips up. So they rotate all the way back, as you can see, 
about uh, 280 degrees. And that's going to help when you're folding the unit and you're trying to roll it around like a piece of carry-on luggage with wheels. So that's the purpose here. Once it's folded up, you can carry it by the handle and walk it around, roll it around, so to speak, like a piece of carry-on luggage. So as you can see, the user manual is there attached to the seat cushion. The seat cushion does come uh, detached from the chair itself. There's some Velcro strips on the bottom of the seat pad, and you just go ahead and line those up with the corresponding pieces of Velcro on the chair itself so that it sticks on securely. At this point, Andrew is just taking off all the protective styrofoam sheeting. There's plastic wrap around the wheels and a lot of protective styrofoam sheeting throughout the chair. Now on the back, you could see the red levers and the kickstand. Those red levers are for the automatic brakes. It does have two motors and each motor has an electromagnetic brake lever, which you can use to disengage the uh, brake system if you need to push the chair manually when your batteries are dead or if you just need to push it manually for any reason whatsoever. Uh, all power wheelchairs, including this one, have automatic brakes, which means you don't have a brake lever or a brake pedal. As soon as you let go of the joystick uh, and you stop using the joystick to move the chair, the brakes automatically kick in. So if you are on a hill or an incline and the battery's dead, it's not going to roll down that hill uncontrollably. It's a safety feature that mostly all power wheelchairs and mobility scooters have. Now, under the seat in the storage area, you're going to find a box, and that has the charger. The charger is a three-pin barrel connector that plugs into a regular household outlet, and you can plug the barrel connector into the joystick. Underneath the joystick, there's a charging port, and we'll show you how to mount the joystick and how to plug the charger in here shortly. Remember to read your user manual in its entirety. It's very important that you do that so that you know how to operate your power chair correctly and you don't damage it or injure yourself. And we're gonna go ahead and show you now how to install the joystick. You can install it on the right or the left side, but most of our customers are right-handed, so we're gonna install it on the right-hand side. You can put it on the left side, no problem. You just need to fish the cable that's used to attach the, the joystick to the left armrest. So as you can see, it has like a bicycle seat style clamp that you need to tighten just enough so that it's um, secure to the bar that points down at the end of the armrest. So tighten the nut and once it's tight enough to where you can close that clamp and it feels nice and strong, like it's not gonna come off, you're good to go. So once you have that clamp closed, just connect the male and female barrel connector, and there's a little securement nut that's plastic that you'll have to rotate clockwise to get it in there nice and secure. Now on the back of the chair, you could see the two red brake levers. Those are used to turn the brakes on or off. Again, they both need to be on so that you can use the power wheelchair and the motors with the joystick. If they're not on and you can push the chair manually, you will not be able to operate the chair. Now on the left and right side, we have inline batteries that go right into the frame. And those batteries, when you get this chair first time out of the box, do have covers on the terminal connectors, and you'll have to remove those covers. So Andrew's showing you here, we just did the first battery, we're doing the second battery. It's a little white cap that goes over the connection, uh, which prevents the batteries from making contact. And this is very normal when products are being stored in a warehouse for a long time. If the batteries are connected, you'll get batteries that are dead. So they disconnect the batteries or put little caps on the terminals to prevent them from draining. It does have a nice horn, power button, speed control. We'll show you the sound of the horn here in just a second. So there's an on and off button and an up and down for the speed control and a traditional joystick which you can use to move the chair. Again, the automatic brakes do need to be on or else the joystick will not work. So now we're going to go ahead and show you a few other things including how the chair folds and unfolds. There's a couple of folding features. So the backrest right now is in the upright position. But if you don't want the backrest to be so high, you can fold it. And that's also something you can do while the chair is folded itself for transporting it and making it even more compact. You can also flip up the footrests, which is something you may want to do when you're transporting the chair and it's folded. And if you notice, there's actually a kickstand on the back of the chair, which is unusual, but I guess it's like an anti-tip feature, which will prevent you from tipping back if you need that. Uh, obviously, you can't use the kickstand while you're using the chair to move around, uh, but we're gonna fold the chair now, and what we recommend doing when you're folding the chair is to remove the joystick. It's very easy to remove with that clamp and the little connector, and on the back, there's two pressure tabs that need to be pushed inwards together. 
And what we do first is fold the armrests all the way back and then push those two clamps together towards each other. And that is how you fold the chair. Once you push those two pressure tabs close together, the chair unlocks itself and you're able to just push the backrest forward and fold the chair. And at this point, the chair is fully folded. You can also, like we showed you earlier, fold the backrest, the top part of the backrest down to make it even more compact. Should make it even easier to fit into the trunk of a small car. Again, this chair weighs a total of 59 pounds, but if you remove the batteries, it's even lighter. And for a lot of customers, that's really light and manageable for caretakers to help uh, the user get the chair in and out of the trunk of a car. So we're folding up the top part of the backrest and then just lifting it straight up from the backrest to unfold the chair. Once the chair is unfolded, it's pretty much ready to go. You just need to mount the joystick back on. Removing the joystick prior to folding it just helps with transportation. If that joystick stuck to the end of the armrest while you're trying to transport it, it makes it very difficult to stick in the trunk of a car. Now we're just showing you how to remove the inline batteries. There's a little button there that you can push down to release the battery. So when you push that button down, it's a spring-loaded battery release that allows you to take the battery out. So if you want to save even more weight, just remove those batteries. And here we're showing you that Andrew is about six foot tall, about 200 pounds, give or take five pounds, and he fits very well on this chair. Again, this chair can support up to 350 pounds. It's powerful. It has a steady frame, very sturdy, strong frame, good powerful motors. It can go up to five miles per hour and on a full charge, it goes 15 miles. To learn more about this product, visit our website, mobilitydirect.com. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com and click on the green button that says free catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct, and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic, we love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.